What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Sean Robert Johnson. As you know, I'm incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trent, New Jersey. I appreciate y'all tuning in to today's episode that we got for y'all, so let's just get straight to it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host. As you know, I'm currently incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trenton, New Jersey, and I have been for over the last 17 years. And don't forget to become a subscriber on both of our YouTube channels, at Prison Audio and at Sean Robert Johnson, as well as follow us on Instagram, at Prison Audio and at Sean John 1222. That's S H A W J O H N 1222. So today I want to talk about lessons for young inmates because going to a maximum security prison at such a young age can be an incredibly daunting and life altering experience. It's not only the physical environment that can be intimidating with its strict rules and regulation, but also the psychological impact of being surrounded by individuals who have committed serious crimes. For many young people, it could be a harsh wake-up call, realizing the gravity of their situation and the consequences of their actions, the loss of freedom, the separation from family and friends, and the uncertainty of the future can weigh heavily on their minds. In such an environment, young inmates may face challenges in terms of safety, adapting to the prison culture, and dealing with the emotional toll of being incarcerated. They may also struggle with feelings of isolation, regret, and anxiety about their prospects upon release. However, it's important to recognize that not all young people who have entered the criminal justice system are hardened criminals. Many come from disadvantaged backgrounds or have made impulsive decisions that led to their incarceration. Providing support, education, and rehabilitation opportunities can be crucial in helping them turn their lives around and reintegrate into society positively. So being in a prison that I'm in, the youngest person that I have seen prior to me being one of the younger people when I came down at the age of 21 is now it's a couple of people down here that's like 20, 21 years old. And it's different when you're kind of younger. I remember when I came and I was 21, everybody older than you. The good thing is it doesn't depend on what journey you want to take for yourself. Me, I chose to absorb the information that I was taking and filter out who I believe was genuine or who I believe that was just trying to just give me information to see what I'll do with it. So I started surrounding myself as a, a young person coming into prison with those who I sat back and observed, like, ah, this person is trying to do something with their life, this person is trying to do something with their life, just through conversation and just observation of how they carry themselves on a daily basis. So it can really be difficult because when you come in young, you are looking at everything from your perspective versus people that have been gelling and they are kind of set in their ways of being in prison. So they might go about something completely different as you when you are younger. You might just fly off the handle sometimes, depending on your nature of who you are. So it is definitely, it's definitely different entering prison when you're young. So entering prison at a young age can be a harsh introduction to a challenging environment. So I want to give you five important lessons that someone in this situation may need to learn quickly. One, self-discipline and respect for authority. In prison, following rules and showing respect for authority figures like guards and other inmates is essential for safety and to avoid disciplinary action. Learning to navigate the prison hierarchy and adhere to regulations can help maintain order and potentially earn privileges. Number two, vigilance and awareness of surroundings. Understanding the dynamics of the prison environment, including potential threats from other inmates or gangs, is crucial for personal safety. Being aware of one surrounding and staying vigilant can help avoid conflicts and potentially dangerous situations. Three, building a support network. Cultivating relationships with trustworthy individuals within the prison community, such as fellow inmates or supportive staff members, can provide crucial emotional support and practical assistance. Having a reliable support network can help alleviate feelings of isolation and provide guidance in navigating the complexities of prison life. Four, coping mechanisms for stress and anxiety. Imprisonment, particularly at a young age, can be mentally and emotionally challenging. Developing healthy coping mechanisms to manage stress, anxiety, and other negative emotions is essential for maintaining mental well-being. This might include activities like exercising, journaling or seeking counseling or support groups. And five, 
planning for the future, and personal growth. While serving a sentence, it's important for young inmates to focus on personal growth and planning for their future beyond prison. This may involve setting goals, pursuing education or vocational training opportunities, and participating in rehabilitation programs aimed at reducing recidivism. Maintaining a sense of hope and purpose can be crucial for resilience and successful reintegration, reintegration into society upon release. Looking back, the advice that I will give to anybody that's young facing incarceration is when you first get in prison, don't try to be the person that want to live off your reputation on the streets if you have one, and don't try to come to prison and try to make your reputation in prison if you never have one. Always be yourself. And as you observe and, and, and learn your surroundings, be yourself because the energy you put out in prison is the energy that you want to be matched with. So if you walk around, you mean mugging people, you want to come off like you harder than everybody else, and by all means, you might be. You might be just like that. But don't be surprised when you get that energy back because I always tell people you will come across people that's from different cities or even in your city or different towns or different states that might go harder than you. So if you're really not prepared for that and that's the angle you want to take, then, hey, you got to expect what's going to come. But if you choose to just humble yourself down and just, just look at it from like, all right, look, I'm in prison. What do I got to do to get out of prison? Try to educate yourself the best way that you can. Try to learn as much as you can. And, you know, just be yourself. Don't try to be other than yourself and just give out that positive energy. And even if you is like that, you can suppress that right there and do what you want to do for positive change within yourself and also so you can inspire and influence others to do the right things as well. So, I just want to tell you that navigating life in prison at a young age requires learning crucial lessons quickly to ensure safety, emotional well-being, and the potential for rehabilitation. From mastering self-discipline and respect for authority to building support networks and coping mechanisms, young inmates must adapt rapidly to their new reality. Moreover, maintaining a focus on personal growth, education, and planning for the future is vital for fostering hope and resilience amidst the challenges of incarceration. By embracing these lessons and striving for positive change, young individuals can lay the foundation for a better life beyond prison walls. And that's all I want you to do. Just continue growing, continue to change, and help somebody else. They all say that we have the possibility to affect in at least three people in our lives. So if you can influence and in, in, affect three people in a positive manner, guess what? Them three people can go affect three people, and that turn into nine people. And it is keep going down the list. So if you have any questions or any comments, call 1-800-366-0911. That's 1-800-366-0911. Or send an email to stories at prisonaudio.com. That's S-T-O-R-I-E-S, the at sign, P-R-I-S-O-N-A-U-D-I-O dot com. And don't forget to become a subscriber on both of our YouTube channels, at Prison Audio and at Sean Robert Johnson, as well as don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Prison Audio and at Sean John 1222. That's S-H-A-W-J-O-H-N-1222. So thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host. Everybody have a good day. And stay tuned for the next episode coming soon.